English learning with beautiful stories and more by Neil Sir. Learn English with this heart-touching story, Mother's Sacrifice. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my English stories. Let's begin. My mom only had one eye. I hated her. She was such an embarrassment. My mom ran a small shop at a flea market. She collected little weeds and such to sell. Anything for the money we needed. She was such an embarrassment. There was this one day during elementary school. I remember that it was field day and my mom came. I was so embarrassed. How could she do this to me? I threw a hateful look and ran out. The next day at school. Your mom only has one eye and it taunted me. I wish that my mom would just disappear from this world. So I said to my mom, "Mom, why don't you have the other eye? You're only going to make me a laughing stock. Why don't you just die?" My mom did not respond. I guess I felt a little bad, but at the same time it felt good to think that I had said what I wanted to say all this time. Maybe it was because my mom hadn't punished me, but I didn't think that I had hurt her feelings very badly. That night, I woke up and went to the kitchen to get a glass of water. My mom was crying there, so quietly, as if she was afraid that she might wake me. I took a look at her and then turned away. Because of the thing I had said to her earlier, there was something pinching at me in the corner of my heart. Even so, I hated my mother who was crying out of her one eye. So I told myself that I would grow up and become successful because I hated my one-eyed mom and our desperate poverty. Then I studied really hard. I left my mother and came to Seoul and studied. and i got accepted in the seoul university with all the confidence i had then i got married i bought a house of my own then i had kids too now i'm living happily as a successful man i like it here because it's a place that doesn't remind me of my mom this happiness was getting bigger and bigger when someone unexpected came to see me what who's this It was my mother still with her one eye. It felt as if the whole sky was falling apart on me. My little girl ran away scared of my mom's eye. And I asked her, "Who are you? I don't know you." As if I tried to make that real. I screamed at her, "How dare you come to my house and scare my daughter? Get out of here now." And to this My mother quietly answered, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I may have gotten the wrong address." And she disappeared. Thank goodness she doesn't recognize me. I was quite relieved. I told myself that I wasn't going to care or think about this for the rest of my life. Then a wave of relief came upon me. One day, a letter regarding a school reunion came to my house. I lied to my wife saying that I was going on a business trip. After the reunion, I went down to the old shack that I used to call her house. Just out of curiosity there, I found my mother fallen on the cold ground. But I did not shed a single tear. She had a piece of paper in her hand. It was a letter to me. She wrote, "My son, I think my life has been long enough now." and i won't visit soul any more but would it be too much to ask if i wanted you to come visit me once in a while i miss you so much and i was so glad when i heard you were coming for the reunion but i decided not to go to the school for you i'm sorry that i only have one eye and i was an embarrassment for you you see when you were very little You got into an accident and lost your eye. As a mother, I couldn't stand watching you having to grow up with only one eye. 
so I gave you mine. I was so proud of my son that was seeing a whole new world for me in my place with that eye. I was never upset at you for anything you did. The couple times that you were angry with me, I thought to myself, it's because he loves me. I miss the times when you were still young around me. I miss you so much. I love you. You mean the world to me. My world shattered. I hated the person who only lived for me. I cried for my mother. I didn't know of any way that will make up for my worst deeds. Moral of the story, never ever hate anyone for their disabilities. Never disrespect your parents. Don't ignore and underestimate their sacrifices. They give us life. They raise us better than they had been. They give and keep trying to give better than they ever had. They never wish unwell for their kids even in their wildest dreams. They always try showing right path and being motivator. Parents give up all for their kids. Forgive all mistakes made by kids. There is no way to repay what they done for kids. All we can do is try giving what they need and it is just time, love and respect.